What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I am so infatuated with these Ember travel trailers that I had to come back and take another look. So if you don't know about these Ember trailers, Ember is kind of a new company. And what caught my eye really is the fact that these things are built like Australian style off-road travel trailers. Meaning that they're super tough. I mean the frames are crazy strong and beefy and they got these reinforcement like armor plates along all the corners I've never really seen a travel trailer in the US made to that level of durability because usually they're just lightweight you know stick and staples and glue for the most part and they look good but they're not rugged. Like you take them off road, vibrating them, shaking them, and then they just start to fall apart. Matter of fact, my friend Gene, who has two travel trailers, um, his brand new travel trailer already had the bathroom floor crack open and it's brand spanking new because it is vibrated and shook apart. Whereas this thing, I mean, it is, it literally has armor plating on here. That is so cool love it it's also lifted off the ground a little bit more you got more lift the suspension is by Kurt it's a trailing arm with a, a coil and shocks look at that independent coil spring trailing arms that is nice man and it's got these parking brakes instead of using chocks you can actually use a parking brake on a tire outdoor kitchen got a griddle here so you can cook outdoors when you're cooking the burgers and whatever and onions you don't stink up the whole insides looks like you got a little fridge in here got a little tiny fridge outside and of course an awning keep the sun and the rain off of you LED lights ladder to go up to the roof Here's another cool thing that a lot of travel trailers don't do. So they don't have access in the back, which is crazy. You would think that that'd be standard on all these travel trailers, but this, they're thinking ahead and listening to their customers. You actually have a cargo door in the back. It's like 15 feet or something like that. I think this goes up too. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this goes, yeah. So you can actually fold this up and put bikes in here canoes stand-up paddle boards skis whatever you can put it in there and use it as a cargo trailer it's not wasted that is awesome man love it and then you have stabilizing jacks in the back on each corner you got a two inch hitch there for uh, bike racks or cargo racks oh this thing is kind of stiff so the wind doesn't just blow it that's nice full-size spare and there's a look at that armor and that is just really cool I love it ember overland series then of course it has all your standard RV hookups for power black tanks and stuff like that there's your uh, city water hot water heater there's some storage up here too put more stuff up front and then here's your lock box you can actually tie stuff down here campfire wood you can probably go up here and there's your double propane tanks that's nice love it let's go take a look on the inside I love these uh, heavy-duty steps they don't have those chintzy little flimsy steps these are adjustable for almost any height and they're heavy duty nice big door with a screen it's bigger than normal we've got a grab handle dual pane acrylic windows that pop out kind of like awning style and then this this is cool got a murphy bed here nice queen size bed or close to a queen and look at this it's got a sunroof 
Again, that's a dual pane acrylic window. Pop that open. You can uh, black out the sun or keep the bugs out, but let the air in. That is awesome. Not too many travel trailers have that. You got cargo up top. Another window there. TV if you want to watch some sports or some movies at night. Of course, that folds up into a couch in the day if you want to use it as a couch. Storage. Little countertop. Oh, there's the price. 47000 Nice big deep sink. I like that deep sink for washing bowls and stuff like that. Two burner propane stove. Kind of a pantry drawer system there. Vent hood. Microwave oven. More storage. Nice. More storage above the uh, fridge as well. Freezer for the ice cream and ice. And then that's where all the food and the drinks go. It's kind of big actually. Like it. Very nice. What's underneath the sink? Pots and pans. Very nice. I like it. So that's a view of the entire kitchen side. There's your AC up top. Keep this thing cool when it's in the summertime. This one does not have the slide out, which is kind of nice. Uh, you don't really need slide outs, in my opinion. There's just more weight and complications. But some people love slide outs. Plus, I heard the resale value is better on a slide out. But there's a couch there. That turns into a bed as well. So let's kind of sit down here. That's nice. This is comfortable. And this is a nice spot, again, for watching movies. You gonna watch Disney movies with the kids. It's a nice little comfortable spot here. I like that. Again, the pop-out window. Love those things. Keep the bugs out or privacy. More storage up top. You got four of those all the way down. There's your control panel for a whole bunch of stuff. You can check the uh, pumps. You can check the awning, black tank, fresh water tank, all that stuff. Bunks. Gotta have bunks for my family. I have two boys and a girl, so my 11-year-old uh, could probably sleep up here. He'd like being up top like that. He's got a window of his own that pops out. Very nice. Looks like you have some USB ports there and a light. This bed is soft, man. That's nice. What is that? Two, three-inch mattress? And it's an extra wide bunk, too. And then my 14-year-old boy could sleep here. Actually, he's 15 years old now. USB port with a light and a window. Then there's the storage underneath. And the bathroom. You got a toilet. That's actually a porcelain toilet. I like it. Sink to brush your teeth. Medicine cabinet. Nice big window. Shower. Let's see. Can I stand in here? Look at that. I'm about 5'10 with shoes on. So this goes up at least 6'2, six, 6'3. Six, Very nice. It's small, but gets the job done. I like it. By far my absolute favorite travel trailer. Just because it's built like a tank. Yeah, it's expensive, but I think you get your money's worth with this model. I really want to get one of these for the family. Love it. $47,995. $384 a month. So there you go, guys. That is another look at the Ember Overland Series travel trailer bunkhouse. Absolutely love this travel trailer. 
And if I were to uh, buy a travel trailer, I think this is the one to get right here. I really can't imagine any other travel trailer beating this thing in, in the durability and the quality. Maybe Black Series, but what I think this has over Black Series is that this is made in America. <laughs> I love it. The fact that it's made in America and it's built like a tank. You can't beat it. Cannot beat it. Unless you have a better idea. Leave a comment below if you know a better one than this. Alright guys. Hit that like button to support my channel. I appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And like I said. Leave a comment below. What do you think about Ember? Overland Series Travel Trailers made in america built like tanks what do you think anything better than this for less than fifty thousand? leave a comment below